Welcome back. Today, we continue exploring AmpleCap's features, and we look at how to extract notes from your articles and newsletters. At the end of the video, we'll cover some lesser-known features of this extension, so make sure to stick around until then. If you are like me, you're probably bombarded with tens of articles and web pages every week. Whether it's from the eight or so email newsletters I'm subscribed to, articles from my news feeds, or subjects I want to actively research, I need a system for saving these things and reading them when I get the time. As far as saving goes, in the previous video, I've shown you how to set up a reading list, as well as a recurring reminder that appears on your calendar. But what about the actual reading? Well, for those articles and pages that have useful knowledge I actually want to keep, here is how I use AmpleCap to take reading notes. First, I open the article I want to read in my browser. Then, I press Ctrl-Shift-A to open the AmpleCap extension and choose Text from the Capture options. And that's it. Now I can start reading the article, and when I find a sentence or paragraph that I want to keep, I can highlight it, and it will be saved to the sidebar. I can add as many highlights as I want, and even insert my own notes after. When I'm done, I save everything to a new note, which I tag Reading Notes. And here's the result in my notebook. I get a bullet list of highlights, as well as the link to the original web page I got them from. I personally keep all my reading notes inside a tag called Reading Notes, so it's easy to find everything at once when I need to. But I also tend to tag every note individually with the domain it relates to, such as beekeeping in this case. So in my sidebar, I can find all of my reading notes on beekeeping by shift-clicking on the beekeeping tag. Easy, right? And by the way, if you consume email newsletters like I do, AmpleCap also works straight in the email client. So I can take highlights from an email like I would from any article, and my notes will be saved to AmpleNote. To end off this video, let's look at some lesser known features of AmpleCap that I use almost every day. On any web page, I can select any text, then right click and find AmpleCap in the context menu to quickly capture the selection to a new note. I like using this when I find some contact info I want to save for later use, or simply when I stumble upon an interesting quote I want to revisit. When capturing web content, I can select Copy to Clipboard instead of Send to Ample Note. What this does is that instead of automatically adding the content to one of my notes, it will insert it into Ample Note's clipboard. What that means is that I can capture a screenshot to my clipboard, go back to my notebook, and choose the exact location where I want to insert my content. When I'm happy with the location, I can hit Control V or Command V to paste at the current cursor position. That's pretty nice in and of itself, but did you know that AmpleNote's clipboard is synced with all of your devices? This means that I can capture something on my laptop and paste it on my mobile phone. Also, when you capture to the clipboard, you can actually choose to have the content be inserted inside a rich footnote instead. This is great if you want to save space or if you want to paste your capture inside a task, for example. Here's how the same content looks without this option. And here's how it looks with this option. Finally, you can change all of the hotkeys that AmpleCap uses by clicking on your profile picture and choosing Configure Hotkeys from the drop-down menu.